What's up you guys, Simeon Little here. Today we'll be talking about the differences between the gray newer S400 and versus the black one. As you, um, looking through the spec sheet, there isn't that much, many differences, but we'll be talking about all, about all that and more. Also, uh, I'll show you unboxing. Um, obviously I've unboxed these before, but I'll do it again just for you guys. Um, first of all, let me get to the email uh, that I sent to newer. Um, which I've um, sent, what is the difference between the gray newer S400 and, and the black one? Which is older? Um, okay, then uh, newer sent back to, sent me this email. Hello, thanks for co contacting newer customer service. The black one is, is older and the gray one is, is updated version. There is no big difference. Now, I know what you're thinking. Okay, hold on, hold on. Before you skip the video, I want to show you which one I like better and um, why. So, um, on that in that regards, let's get right to the unboxing. Okay, so here we go. On your left, here is the the older um, newer S four hundred N. Here, you have your um, spec sheet basically and. Um, the instructions of how to power it on and stuff like that. All that stuff. Um, this is what the box looks like. Yeah, nothing special there with the box. Um, see, it's black, it looks very professional. Um, you got your whole interface here, your knob, switch, fuse, power. Etc. Um, you can take the reflector off. They come with the reflector, which is pretty cool. Then you got your this loosens it. That you put you put that on top of the light stand. You can tighten it down. Then it won't go anywhere. Okay. You've got your power cord. Um, um, your what's the, um, your warranty card? I accidentally put two warranty cards in there, so that that's me. That they just sent one per product, and then you here you have your the modeling lamp, which screws in to the front of your. You put a you can and you see you put a grid uh, um, a grid here just you know whatever you decide to do and that's your modeling light to you know do your autofocusing and stuff. Um, you have your sync cable which this end you know of course plugs into your camera and that end plugs into the the port that's. Clearly marked sync right there, right across there. So you can trigger the camera uh, using the cable. And then you also, in this corner over here, you also get two additional fuses. Okay, that's that one. Now the updated version. Let me put this. Here we go. Packaging is a little different. Um, if you won't plan on storing these in the box, I think this is probably a little bit more m more steps for you to do because you gotta keep taking those off. Take the reflector off. And then take that off and then put your reflector back on or put that on the soft box. This is the Bowens mount. And I really love the way this, the, the front half of this one looks because it looks more refined. And the, um, what I didn't mention just yet was that the reflector does lock on a lot quicker. That's, that's, the, that's one upside to this one here or 
may as well. And then, as you can see right here, the modeling light is in this in the in the foam, and then you just screw it in just like the other one. Can you put in, put your reflector on or softbox, and it just you saw how quick that was. Oh yeah, here we go. Your interface, your knobs over here. You've got your test button that fires off the flash, you know, just for you to test it. The sink, you also get a sink cable with this one that plugs in right there. And then also you, you know, put that in your camera. Power, fuse, the cell button, which is whether or not you want to use the photo cell, which you can trigger it by using a flash. And then audio, which is your, um, if you want to hear the beep, the red, the beep that it makes at whenever it's fully charged and you can shoot it a second time. And then your mode button, you click that to turn on your modeling light or turn it off or turn it on to full powder power. Or you can, yeah, set it to, um, to go up and down with the with the select with their with your power selection and this just keeps spinning so i don't know why they have the um adjustment like like that actually means something you can spin that in this direction forever if you wanted to power and that's about it now let's get to some practical um examples of um see which one of these flashes fires off quicker and recharges quicker. All right, yeah. All right, switching camera scene. Now let me show you um, the differences between the the recharge speed of these two different monolights. This is the the older one. And here we go. I'm gonna click the shutter button. It's fairly quick. Now let me go ahead and plug this one in. That was just me plugging it in. All right, now listen. These are all the way, both of these are maxed out. You saw how long it took. It took, uh, you could hear it and see that the, this one takes a little bit longer to recharge. So in terms of recharging, recharge speed, this one wins. Also, yeah, this, this one is my favorite because it just, it just seems more professional to me. And um, the interface is kind of like more refined in my opinion, but the, the I do like the way this this one um, connects right here because the as I was saying before you you know the whatever your softbox or reflector attaches a lot quicker and you know you don't have to second guess it but this one this one for me is is the winner and like like I said in the beginning there aren't that many differences between these two models because I mean there's only like slight differences between the performance of each two of each one of these so either way either way you go you're still going to get a good monolite for the price and um yeah they work they really work really great and uh, yeah I, I like these um these th these newer um monolites and um yeah i guess that's it for this um review and unboxing it just like again like what i said earlier it just depends on which one you like better, but this one does recharge just a little bit faster. If you let, um, or um, if that's more important to you, but again, it's not a big difference that you will notice between the two. So it's just, it just depends on whatever one you prefer. Oh, and I also, no, hold on, I didn't mention this. One final note. This one goes up to 8.0, and this one goes to 6.0, and all and all that means is that, is just that this one has more steps in between from uh, mid power from low power to max power because they're both they're both um, 400 watt m uh, mono lights, so yeah, but. It's, that, that's not a big difference, but it, it is just, you know, different differences between the two. 
between the older and then the newer one that they came out with. So, yeah, like I said, this is the end of, the, of this um, review and I hope you all liked it. So God bless and see you on the next one.